The mini star and biostar use positive pressure, which gives you superior adaptation to your model, ensuring the accuracy and fit of your appliance. These machines can significantly reduce your lab expense by increasing the variety of appliances you can do in-house. Most of the technique videos in our resource center feature the Biostar because that's what we use in our commercial lab at Great Lakes. For most dental practices, the Mini-Star is ideal. You can use the Mini-Star to fabricate the same extensive variety of appliances that you can with the Biostar. Liquid separator is applied with a brush to all model surfaces to come in contact with the forming material. The model is placed on the center of the platform with the heel facing the open chamber on the left. A square 2 mm thick mouth guard material is tailored to make the first layer. Using number 55 plate shears, cut the material diagonally. Then trim the triangular ends to prevent the template from extending over the pellet cup. Then cut a one to one and a half inch triangular slot at the long edge of the template. With the model on the platform, check the size of the cut template. The long edge should be aligned with the heel of the model and top and bottom cuts near the outer edge of the platform. A 2 or 3 mm thick clear mouth guard material is clamped onto the pressure chamber. Identify the material's heating time or Biostar code and enter it into the machine. Turn the heat gun on high and swing the lamp over the clamped material to start the heating cycle. With about 50 seconds remaining in the heating cycle, soften the template laying on the model with the heat gun. As the heating cycle nears its conclusion, material over the model should drape around the model. A decal or patient name can be placed on the colored material along the incisal region. At the end of the timed heating cycle, remove the lamp from the material and swing the chamber over the model on the platform. Engage the locking handle to start the molding and cooling process. The form material should be under pressure for two to two and a half minutes. Evacuate the pressure from the chamber at the end of this cycle. Then unlock the chamber and clamped material. Swing open the chamber and remove the form material and model from the platform. A rough cutout of the mouth guard is done using a torch and a lab knife. Heat the knife to cut through the mouth guard material. Cut along the tissue anatomy at the model base and a few millimeters behind the last tooth in the arch. Also cut about five millimeters below the gingival margins in the palate. The trimming and finishing process is the same for all mouth guards in this training course. These technique videos along with the other information on the Resource Center, can show you how to get the most from your machine and how to ultimately take control of your lab bill. Maximize the potential of your Mini-Star.